every now and then I get uh, comment from Rush Dye too as a Southern Adventist uh, in my inbox. Uh, little does he know that probably nine out of ten times I just delete them and never even go look at the comments because the man doesn't have anything to say. Uh, bottom line, he's, he's biblically illiterate, theologically illiterate, and uh, I just don't waste my time with him that much. But anyway, for some reason, I uh, got a comment the other day from Rush Dye, and I decided that since I was on one of my friend's video, and I didn't know Rush Dye to over there because of a scene like he normally does, I uh, went and looked at the comment to see what he said. And there's something about me contradicting the official teaching of the Catholic Church and uh, dealing with the Vatican City being inside Rome, something like that, and then the other was something about the Ten Commandments. Uh, I haven't found that video of his yet, but I'll find it and answer it as well. Uh, I'll deal with the Vatican City one first, where he puts up the video, Ben God and contradicts the official teachings of the Catholic Church, and, uh, and by saying that uh, Vatican City is not inside the city of Rome. Now then, here's what he says in about 45 seconds into the video. Uh, he says uh, something like, Ben Gali contradicts the official, official teachings of his own church. Uh, there is where he made his mistake. Uh, as he normally does, if he would put as much effort into finding the truth as he does into lying, then maybe he wouldn't make a fool of himself and put his foot in his mouth. Now he is he is uh, good at throwing out these words, imprimata and uh, neon obstat, but he doesn't know what they mean. That's the, see that's that's where he puts his foot in the mouth and shows his his ignorance. Uh, it's just just totally ignorance. Now, I could have made a long video on this. Uh, showing a lot of things, uh, I decided just to answer it this way. Rush out to get you a pencil and a piece of paper, write this down so you won't forget it. That God is about to give you a lesson in the letters. First of all, imprimatur means let it be printed. The obstacle means there's no obstacles. Both of them refer to pamphlets, booklets, or something of that nature where they have been read and there are no obstacles to be printed, let it be printed, meaning uh, that the article, the pamphlet of the book is free from doctrinal errors when it comes to faith and morals. That's all it means. It doesn't mean that the Catholic Church agrees with the entire book. It just simply says if this book touches on faith and morals and doctrines of the Catholic Church, uh, that it's okay to go ahead and print it. Now then, whether or not Vatican City is inside Rome or not, is not a doctrinal statement of the Catholic Church. You understand that, Rush Dye? That only means that that book is free of doctrinal error. Whether Vatican City is inside the city of Rome or not, is not a doctrinal statement of the Church. So this this thing about contradicting the official teaching of the Catholic Church, there is no official teaching about the Catholic Church on this. Uh, and here you have a person's opinion, and you can read book after book, and you'll find people who will say, well, no, it's not inside the city of Rome. You'll find those who say it is in the city of Rome. There are those who say, and they're right, technically it is not inside the city of Rome because it is an independent, independent city state itself. And it was given that independence at the uh, uh, Lateran Treaties of 1929, when Italy basically said, okay, you're an independent state. So there are those who will say it both ways. But as far as it being an official teaching of the Catholic Church, it's not. So no, to rush out to, I have not contradicted the teaching of the Catholic Church. If that is this person's opinion, then that's his opinion. It's not a doctrine of the Catholic Church, whether it is or it is not. You'll find just as many people who say it is not part of the uh, city of Rome. And technically, it is not part of the city of Rome because it is an independent state with its own borders. It has its own, it has its own army, it has its own radio stations, its own water, 
whatever uh, city needs that the old post office, whatever city state needs exist, Vatican City has it. So rush down if you if you just take the time to sit back, take a deep breath, to listen to your old friend Ben Golly, you wouldn't open your mouth and put your foot in it so deep, and you would actually learn something. Why don't you learn what these terms mean before you make a fool of yourself, Rush Doc? That's just the bottom line. Like I said, I could have gone into a 30-minute, 40-minute video showing uh, the different people who say uh, it is and it isn't inside the city of Rome, uh, but it is not an official teaching of the Catholic Church. If you have studied those two terms, you would not have made a fool of yourself, Rush Doc. Now, I'll find this other video you've got uh, dealing with the Tip to members or something, I'll find it. And uh, once again, I'll show you your ignorance. Uh, so, rest all you failed. I didn't come to get to Catholic Church. Um, but the only thing you're trying to do, and they do this all the time, they're trying to draw me away from showing the false teaching of the Seventh day Adventist organization, how Ellen White is a false prophet, and rushed out to you theologically can't handle it. That's why he theologically can't handle it. So he had to come up with Bengali contradicts the official teachings of the church. <laughs> what you learn with these terms being brushed off? And just like Ed would then, you won't open your mouth and stick your foot in it. Until next time, this is Bengali saying, class is over.